Welcome back and today we're talking about the Misfit of Demon King Academy episode 2. So like always, let's just jump into it. So episode 2 of the Misfit of Demon King Academy is finally here and we got yet again another great episode. Honestly, I loved every second of this episode and I feel like the time, every time I'm watching this uh, anime just flies by. I mean, I thought it was like 30 seconds, but really it was like, you know, your actual uh, regular uh, screen time. But let's talk about the episode and talk about the big moments that happened in this episode because honestly, everything about it was extremely amazing. I loved every second of it. But the episode starts off with the hero canon and Anos coming into a deal so they can stop the war. We see that they've been fighting for a long time and they want you know at least Anos wants to stop the war and the hero of course agrees he is the hero he is the good guy and honestly it just depends on what side you are looking at right because for all we know Anos is the hero to his story and uh you know Canon could be the hero to his story either way they could be viewed as hero because from two episodes so far we have not seen anything that would tell us that Anos, that demon king, is like an evil character. I mean, he's the one that approached the hero and told him, look, let's go for peace. Let's separate all the different, you know, uh, species, the realms into four categories. That way we can forget about each other. And then after a thousand years, boom, we got peace. We can coexist and stuff like that. It was Anos that brought that plan to the hero. So again, I don't think Anos is the villain, how he, you know, you will view other villains. Like they just want to destroy the world for the sake of destruction. In the manga, in the first chapter that we read in, uh, in this channel a couple videos back, uh, Anos does kind of say that, you know, he is protecting something, right? Like the demons are protecting something. And of course the humans are protecting something. Everybody has their side and hopefully they go deeper into that, uh, into that whole conflict because I would love to, to know why uh, both factions were fighting each other and why would the Demon King be considered the villain in this case. Uh, but yeah, then we also got to meet the new character, Sasha. She's, uh, what's her name, uh, Misha's older sister and she's wearing a red uniform and we find out that the reason for that is uh, people who are born from like full-blooded demon families and stuff like that, they will be the ones to be considered uh, the closest to becoming the Demon King. But as we know, that's the furthest thing from the true. I mean, come on. Anos is the legit Demon King. I mean, they don't even know the real Demon King's name. That was just crazy. I was reading through uh, some of the comments from the last episode, and, and, and somebody did mention that, you know, it would be funny if all the answers that Anos gave whenever, whenever he was taking the test were completely wrong because throughout the 2,000 years that have gone by, People actually kind of forgot, but yeah. Then we got to see Anos become like the leader of his own group, and of course, he's only got uh, Misha on his side, but that's definitely more than enough. I mean, what Anos pulled in this like uh, 1v1 or team versus team scenario was crazy. I mean, he just walked up to the castle and treated it like it was a basketball. I mean, he was just throwing it all over the place. It was crazy. It was a truly badass moment. I loved every second of it. And you know, with animes like this where they have an OP character, I always kind of think, well, if the character is always going to win, how are they going to make it fun? And really the way they're doing it is, we know Anos is always going to win, but they also do it with like the characters around him, right? We see that now he got uh, Sasha to join his group because of the deal that they made. And we're gonna see character development with Sasha and Misha because we find out in this episode that Misha is like a doll and you know, maybe they got a soul inside of her. Something along the, those lines where she was made with magic instead of like the natural way I'm guessing. And we see that Sasha and Misha, they kind of act like they hate each other, but towards the end of the episode, they're holding hands, they, they, you know, they're talking to each other. So that leads me to believe that the reason, they're, they're like playing like a game, right? Not a game, but they're acting like they hate each other, or at the very least, uh, Sasha is acting like she hates Misha because of uh, maybe like the whole family thing. Maybe the, the family is trying to get them apart. We don't know the reason why Misha was created, but towards the end of the episode, we see Sasha say that, uh, 
you know, what would you do to fight fate? Like if, you're, if your fate was sealed and you didn't like the outcome, what would you do? And that leads me to believe that it has something to do with Misha. Maybe she's going to be like a sacrificial pawn and Sasha really is just trying to uh, stop it or, or, or get help by stopping it because she does love her sister. We find that in this episode. And I feel like the whole fight between them and stuff like that was like an act for her parents. Uh, maybe her parents are in on it. I don't know. But, you know, Anos did say that her eyes, her demonic eyes are like next level amazing and crazy good. So she is going to be a very powerful person. I honestly think that Anos is really just going to become, you know, like he said in the first episode, he's going to bend everybody to his will. That's what the Demon King does. And no doubt about it, he will definitely bend everybody to his will because it's just crazy OP. Unless we get like the hero to come in and he's going to be like the equivalent to the power level as Anos. I don't see anybody coming in and being a challenge for him. And we'll see where this goes. Absolutely a great episode. I can't wait to net till we get the episode three because if episode two was this good and it keeps going i mean this might be my favorite anime of this season we're right at the beginning it's still too early to say but so far out of all the animes that i've seen uh i haven't been as excited as i have for this anime i mean every single episode is truly greatness but let me know what you thought of this episode go ahead leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode